All right, so we're going to take our, our drill for the tap, and now that we have the three bolts back in here, we're just going to score into the plastic through both of these holes. <coughs> now we're going to take these screws back out again. It's like a never-ending process here, but if you want everything to fit correctly, you have to assemble it and disassemble it every time you drill new holes. Okay, so now we're going to just go ahead and drill right through into those two marks that we just made. And then we'll reassemble it one last time and tap it and bolt it together. Okay, now that those are drilled, we're going to set this back in with the bolts one more time. Okay, that lines everything up. Now we're going to put a little bit of teeny bit of lubricant on our tap. And we're going to tap both of these holes, one at a time, and we'll screw one together after it's tapped, and then we'll start the other one. Okay. Be very careful with these taps again. You know, I've broken a bunch of them doing this build already with all the different aluminum parts I've been making. So that one's through. bolt this one together. I have some bolts I had cut previously that I weren't wasn't using anywhere. They they came back out, so I'm just using the cut ones into here so that I don't waste any of the hardware. It's gonna go any better. Oh nice and easy. that tighten down good and tight and we'll tap the other hole nice and gently so we don't break any taps I like to finish this build and have at least two left for the next one that one. Okay, so there we have it. Now the last step to this part is to take these bolts out. You can see they tightened up a little bit. We'll take the mounting bolts back out. And then we'll re-drill the 330 seconds through there. What you don't want are these bolts not to go into the rail straight. If they go into the rail crooked, they'll bind up and you'll never be able to get the actuators to move your canopy. Better to have a little bit of slop than too tight.
Okay, so we have that cut. Have those drilled back out now, and the bolts just slip right in. Okay, so this canopy is ready to be mounted. There's only one last thing to do on it. What we want to do is we want to trim any excess plastic along the bottom so you can't see it. This one's already been trimmed. This one needs to be trimmed, and we're going to put some CA on these bolts right here to lock them in place. And then we're going to take the Dremel and cut those off because those will just grab everything and you won't be able to move your canopy. Okay, now I'll be back in a minute. Okay, the last thing. The last thing that we did on this canopy was slightly bend in the air dam here so it'll slip underneath the lip of the frame for the uh, windshield easily. And you can see now we have a complete front slider assembly. And you can see it works fairly well. It's a lot more difficult to make it smooth with your hands because you're running two push rods to do it. Once the uh, once the actuator mounts are in here, then it'll be much nicer, much smoother. But you can see how it goes. Now the next step is going to be to get the inside or the center stationary piece of glass in and get it so that um, it fits underneath the uh, canopy, the slider, the front slider. Okay, so you can see here that I have the center section cut out already. And what we want to do is trim the bottom so that it sits on that rail so that you can see what we get just below the line of this canopy frame so we can put the uh, the stiffener air dam piece in with the with the screws to hold it together so that the forward slider will slide over top of it so what we need to do is just take a straight edge and mark this and trim it down slightly on both sides on both sides right there until we just get it to fit right so we'll probably go like maybe an eighth of an inch to start and then maybe a sixteenth of an inch Welcome back. We have the uh, center section cut down to shape. We took probably just a little more than three sixteenths of an inch off of each side to get it so that you have enough of a gap in here so that the screws will fit underneath of there and when you actuate the canopy, the front slider, it slides completely over top of the, uh, the stationary inner piece. And what we need to do now with the uh, stationary inner piece is get the stiffener in the front air dam area up in here and that's what is going to make it so that it will hold shape so that your gaps are even all the way around and once we get that done we'll get it bolted on with the uh, with the double zero wood screws and um, then we'll move on to getting the rest of the railings in here you can see we have the stiffener glued in and we're going to let it dry for a couple hours we use some masking tape uh, to mark out where I want it to go and to keep the glue from getting onto the glass. Um, once I had the tape in there, I smeared some silicone glue in it. You can see the aluminum stiffener strip is inside there, which also acts as your air dam. And then we just clamped it, and we'll let that dry for a couple hours. And once it's dry, we will match up the screws to match up to the forward slider piece so everything looks nice and neat and lined up when it's uh, opening and closing.